Okay, my main reasons for replacing this toilet are one, it's very low to the ground, so it's not a particularly comfortable height to sit at. And then two, and probably the more important reason, is this is a three and a half gallon flush toilet, and I have a one and a quarter that I'm gonna be replacing it with, so it's gonna save a lot of water. So first step is I'm gonna turn the water off to the toilet by turning the water valve here at the wall. All right, water's off. So now we got a full tank of water here and the bowl is full. So I'm gonna flush the toilet to get as much water out of the bowl and out of the tank itself. Okay, at this point I've pretty much drained the tank completely. There's only a little water left which can be easily removed with a sponge. So we do have a little bit of water still in the bowl itself, but of course nothing's gonna happen without the weight of the water pushing down from the tank when you flush. So that's gonna have to be removed with a sponge as well. That's gonna take a little longer. For the bowl, you could use a sponge or it'd probably be a little faster if I got like some sort of measuring cup or something that could scoop the water out. I didn't think to grab one before I started this process, so I'm just gonna use the sponge. All right, now I'm gonna need to detach the water line to the tank. You might have a little water come out when you do this. You may want to have a towel on hand. All right, now I need to take the tank off of a toilet. So I got two big screws down in there that take a flat head. So I need to loosen those to remove it. Um, you don't have to remove the valve, but I'm gonna do it just to get it out of the way so I have a little more room to work. And so when I was removing the water line, there's a wing nut down there that screws the valve onto the bottom, or I should say holds it onto the bottom. So I'm gonna loosen that real fast. There we go. There's the valve. So to remove these bolts, I need to hold these wing nuts and use the flat blade in the tank at the same time. Okay, I can now remove the tank. Next, we need to release the toilet from the floor. So squeeze these caps on each side of the toilet. You'll expose the bolts. And then we can start loosening the toilet so we can pull it off on the floor. Okay, the nuts are off both sides. So there is nothing preventing me from lifting the toilet up. And at this point, we're gonna pull it straight up. Okay, so before I go ahead and install the new toilet, I want to clean up this entire area. Be aware that this is a drain pipe uh, going straight to your sewer system, basically. So you could get sewer fumes back up in here now that the toilet isn't on there. So you may want to shove a disposable rag um, down into it so that you don't get any fumes in your face while you're working, um, especially if you're going to have the hole exposed for a little while. All right, so I'm about ready to install the new toilet. So just real fast, we'll show you the size difference here. So this one's got a bit more elongated uh, toilet bowl and it is a little bit taller. It's just above the top here, but this is the lid. So that's, and this is the top of the bowl without the lid on it. So it's about two inches. So it should be a little more comfortable. This isn't necessary, but since I've already got the toilet out and this is easy to get to, I'm gonna replace this fixed line here with a steel braided flexible line. So I'm just going to remove this. I've already loosened it up. Take it off. 
might drip a little water still that's in the line so just have the towel there and we'll put the new one on okay now I'm going to take my new T-bolts drop them in place turn them make sure that they uh, aren't able to come back out Turn them in the slots, and then these are the washers for them, little plastic ones. So now I'm going to drop the toilet onto the bolts and just do a dry test fit. So I do not have any uh, wax seal currently involved at all. So I will have to take it off. But one of the big things is, is that it needs to fit and you're going to want to mark so that you know it's um it's straight and level all right so i've done my best to mark my center line of my toilet and uh, center line of the space so that when the toilet's put down it's going to be as even as possible in the space and not look like it's off at an angle and then I've marked my edges here with just some tape so that as I put the toilet down, I know that I want, okay, my left and right to be basically right here along the edges of tape as well. And the reason for that is when I use the new wax seal here in a minute for the watertight seal between the toilet and the uh, sewer flange, you want to have it as positioned as best as possible when you put it down because it's wax. What you don't want to have to do is have to shift or pick it back up. If you do that, then you'll break the watertight seal that the wax provides and then you'll have a leak when you flush the toilet. So you really have to kind of get it right on um, the first time around. Okay, so here's the wax seal and this piece of plastic is gonna cover this completely and you're gonna push down and the wax is gonna set around here. And then when I set it on the sewer flange on the floor, it's going to seal it so that you don't have any water escape. Alright, I think the alignment is pretty good. My, my marks are lining up here. I'm looking about the same on the left and right with my pieces of tape. Now right now, I haven't fully committed yet. It is just sitting there, holding by its own weight. Once I start pressing down though, that's basically it. So you have one last chance to check all of your, your, uh, your alignment. And then once you apply pressure, which you want to do nice and evenly, the wax is going to start to spread and that's going to create your seal. And at that point, if you pull it back up, you're going to break that seal and you're going to have to clean off all the wax and start over with a new wax seal. Next, we're going to put the hardware on to tighten up the toilet to the floor. So first is this plastic piece, this side up. Then the washer. Then the nut. And go to finger tight right now. And then I'm going to do the other side. All right, I've got it now fully tightened down. You want to make sure you do not over tighten the bolts though because the toilet, of course, is porcelain, so it can crack. Once you've got it done, you can put the cap on, but you'll probably find that it won't fit because the bolt is too long. So you'll have to cut the bolt with a hacksaw. Um, you can see that the line right here, it's made to be cut right there, and that might be good enough, but if you find that you still have too tall of a bolt, you might have to go down a little bit lower, but don't try to cut it off right above the nut. Like, give yourself a little bit of space and a couple of threads still left. Okay, time to put the tank on. Okay, now from the bottom, I need to take my washer and my nut, put it on. Make 
Just want to get it on just a little bit and get all three of them and then tighten them up. Okay, now I want to go around and tighten them up a little at a time so that I can keep it consistent across. And then once it's tight enough, I need to check to make sure that the tank is level. Alright, so I tightened the tank down all the way, put the lid on, put the level on it. Alright, we're basically perfectly level left and right. And then... Eh, it could use a little bit more on the back, but I really don't feel like I should tighten it down anymore. It's pretty close. The bubble is, is in between the two lines, but it is leaning. Uh, so I guess it's, it's tilted slightly forward just a little bit, but it's, you know, you can't notice it. So it's good. Now I'm going to connect the water supply line. Alright, now I'm going to do the lid, drop the bolt in, go up from this way, And one more piece to do, insert these little bumpers. All right, the whole toilet is now fully installed. So the only thing I have left is turn water on and hope I don't have any leaks. pressure and as of right now I don't have any water dripping from the water supply line or from where it connects to the tank okay so I don't seem to have any leaks everything's fully filled up tank and bowl water level looks good I might do some minor adjustment but otherwise I, I think it's pretty much spot on so now I'm gonna flush it and hopefully everything works without a problem One thing I forgot to mention, which I should have said at the beginning of the video, is um, you can't just drop any new toilet onto your old toilet to replace it. So what you have to do is you need to measure the distance from the wall to the bolts. And that's going to have to match the new toilet. So in my case, it was 12 inches for the old toilet from the wall to the bolts. And for the new toilet, it's 12 inches as well. So if you had a different toilet and say maybe it was 10 inches and the new one was 12, that's not going to work. It's not going to fit. You're not going to have enough space. So you have to make sure that whatever distance from the wall to the bolt is going to be the same on a new toilet when you go shopping for it and pick it out. Okay, guys, that's it for how to remove your old toilet and install your new one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time.